We want to sketch on the same diagram y is equal to sine 2x and y is equal to tan x over 2 in the interval of 0 to 360. So let's first think about what transformations have occurred to get sine 2x and tan x over 2. So I'm going to say that f of x is equal to sine x. If we then think of f of 2x, that will then give us sine 2x. And how that works is whatever you replace x with in these brackets is what x gets replaced with in our function. So x goes to 2x, x goes to 2x. So what does that actually do? What is this transformation? So whenever you have f of ax, that is a stretch of scale factor 1 over a parallel to the x-axis. So you're basically multiplying all the x-coordinates by 1 over a and the graph will then squish horizontally. Okay, let's think about the tan graph now. So let's say g of x is equal to tan x. Well then, using the same kind of logic, g of x over 2 would be tan of x over 2. So if this is a stretch of a scale factor a half parallel to the x-axis, this will be a stretch of scale factor 2 parallel to the x-axis. So all of the x values double, it elongates in the x direction. Okay, so let's sketch this on our graph. So here we have an x-y axis from 0 to 360. So let's start with sine 2x. So normally a sine graph looks like this. It repeats every 360 degrees, but we're multiplying all of the x coordinates by a half. We're stretching it by a scale factor of a half parallel to the x-axis. So now, where the graph before ended at 360, it will now end at 180. So our graph will now look something like this. That will be the first oscillation, and this will be our second. This coordinate here would still be 1. This would be minus 1. So that doesn't change. The y coordinates don't change, but the x coordinates will. So that's y is equal to sine 2x. So let's keep that in black. And in, let's say, purple, let's draw tan x over 2. So a normal tan graph will have an asymptote at 90 and 270. So whenever I'm drawing graphs that have asymptotes, I always think about the asymptotes first and how the transformations affect them. I find it easier to then sketch the graph knowing where the new asymptotes are. We have to double the x coordinates of these asymptotes. So this is x is equal to 90, that will now become x is equal to 180. This will become x is equal to 540, which is no longer on our graph. So now our asymptote would be here. And if we think of the general shape for a tan graph, so on the right hand side, this is 0 to 360 for a tan graph. So now we're considering 0 to 180, which is over here but stretching that or elongating that all over the range of 0 to 360. So our graph will now look something like this. And just to reiterate, that is just this part of the graph here, which is originally 0 to 180, now stretched over the interval of 0 to 360. Okay, so that's part A done. For part B, hence state how many solutions exist to the equation sine 2x is equal to tan x over 2? Well, the number of solutions to this equation, in other words, where these two graphs, the y is equal to sine 2x and the y is equal to tan x over 2, it's where those two graphs meet. So those two graphs meet at four points. They meet here at the start, here, here, and here. The question isn't asking us to state what the solutions are, just how many solutions there would be, which again is the number of intersections. So for part B, the answer would be 4.